Hello and welcome to the My Heritage webinar series. I'm Jeff Rasmussen, your host, broadcasting to you live from webinar headquarters in Middleton, Idaho. Today we have Ofer Karp with us, who is live in Or Yehuda, Israel, for his class introducing the My Heritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry Test. Thanks to Ofer and thanks to all of you for registering for today's live webinar, wherever and whenever you are, glad to have you with us. The schedule and lineup of speakers has been announced for the My Heritage Live Conference. If you've ever wanted to visit Amsterdam, here's your chance to do that and to take in a genealogy conference at the same time. The second annual My Heritage Live will be held September 6th through 8th. More information or to register is available at live2019.myheritage.com. And now I'd like to introduce today's speaker, Ofer Karp. Ofer is a Director of Product Management overseeing the development and management of MyHeritage DNA products. For the past two years, he has been in charge of planning, developing, and launching the MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry product. In creating this innovative health product, Ofer led a massive joint effort of various teams in MyHeritage, including the MyHeritage Science Team, Research and Development, design, operations, marketing, and multiple other teams that were part of this project. Ofer joined MyHeritage in 2017 after a decade of product management experience in top consumer technology brands including Polycom, Microsoft, and Apple. He holds an MBA from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and a BSc in Computer Engineering from the Technion Israel Institute of, Geneal of, of Technology. Please put together your virtual hands and let's give Ofer Karp a nice warm webinar welcome. Ofer, how are you? And welcome to the show. Hi, Jeff. I'm great. Uh, thanks for hosting me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Uh, this is the first time we're talking about this health uh, plus ancestry test, and so I've been quite uh, excited for this. So uh, we have the, the right person here to teach us all about it. So Ofer, the time is all yours. Thanks again. All right. Thanks, Jeff. So I'm excited to be uh, speaking today here about our newest product, the MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry Test. Uh, this test provides a new dimension of genetic insight that can enlighten you about your genetic health and help you make informed lifestyle choices. This test is a major expansion of our DNA product line. It includes dozens of personalized and easy to understand health reports it also includes all of the features of the current MyHeritage DNA test, including DNA matches, ethnicity estimates, and access to powerful research tools such as the chromosome browser. So with that, let's move on and see the agenda uh, that we're gonna cover in this webinar. So I'll begin by explaining what MyHeritage has to do with health and why we decided to go this way. I'll then give a brief introduction about chromosomes, variants, and everything in between. We'll see the expanded DNA product line MyHeritage offers now, and then I'll talk about the types of health reports included in the test. We will move to some important benefits and also limitations of our test. And at this point, once we cover the basics, I'll do a deep dive into the actual product and show you the different flows and screens. And we'll leave some time at the end uh, for questions and answers. All right, so let's get going. So the first question probably some of you have is, what does my heritage have to do with health? Is my heritage changing direction? Will it invest less resources in genealogy now? Well, the opposite is true. And I'd like to spend some time here explaining why. So my heritage at, it, at its core is a genealogy company, but we believe that family research, genetic genealogy and genetic health all go hand in hand. Genetics can provide powerful health insights. About two years ago, when we looked at all the DNA profiles we have, it became apparent to us that there is an entire layer of healthy related information in the DNA that can profoundly help our users and provide them with powerful health insights. And not only is this information helpful, it can also provide, um, 
it can also be tied to family research. Why? Because just like genetic discoveries are more powerful with family trees, genetic health can also be more insightful in a family context. You probably already know that the discoveries you can make with your MyHeritage DNA results are much more useful when there are family trees associated with these results because it gives you better insights into your DNA matches. The same goes for genetic health. Your genes are inherited from your parents, which they inherited from their parents and so on. So by knowing your family history, you can gain a deeper understanding of your health within a wider family context, as opposed to just looking at the health of a single individual. We therefore plan to provide a deeper understanding of genetic health in a family context. We have over 3 million DNA profile and 43 million family trees. And we have already integrated genealogy DNA results with family trees. We hope to integrate health insights with family trees in the future as well. This will be great for users who have family trees. And it will give them a greater understanding of the impact of hereditary conditions on their family over time, and an understanding of who they inherited certain conditions from. With the launch of our new product, we hope to expand our mission from changing lives to saving lives. I expect that most of you are already avid genetic genealogists, but even if you already know what SNPs are, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes going through the basic terms and also explaining how using genetics for genealogy purposes is different from using genetics for health purposes. So let's start with chromosomes. Each of our cells has 23 pairs of chromosomes. 22 are called autosomal and are the same between females and males. And the 23rd is the sex chromosome, which determines our biological sex. In each chromosome, we have hundreds or sometimes thousands of genes with weird names like uh, APOE, HFE, or ARMS2. Genes are small sections of DNA, of DNA within the genome that code for proteins. They contain the instructions for our individual characteristics like eye and hair color. Then we can look at specific positions in our DNA where human beings sometimes have different genetic bases or letters. These positions are called SNPs. And the changes in the bases are called variants. So variants are not bad. All human beings are 99.9 .9 identical in their DNA. Our variants is what differentiates between us and makes each of us unique. So what's the difference between the way we analyze DNA for genetic genealogy and for genetic health? For genetic genealogy, which is mainly about finding DNA relatives, we look for shared DNA segments. We basically compare the DNA of two or more people and look for many similar variants in the same areas of the same chromosomes. If we find multiple shared variants throughout a long DNA segment, we identify it as DNA se segment shared between these people. These shared DNA segments link to a common ancestor. In genetic health, we also analyze variants, but in a very different way. We look at very specific variants across the genome, those that are known to affect the function of certain important proteins. These variants are classified as pathogenic variants, i.e. disease-causing variants. We check if you have the typical base pair or the more rare and pathogenic variant. If you have the pathogenic variant, we interpret what this means in terms of the risk for developing a disease. This is opposed to genetic genealogy where we also look at variants, but not at pathogenicity.
So as an example, let's look at the BRCA genes or BRCA genes. In our test, we currently analyze 15 of the most common variants in these genes. It is important to note though, that there are thousands of rare BRCA variants and our test does not look for all possible BRCA variants. The BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes produce tumor suppressor proteins. These proteins help repair damaged DNA and therefore play an important role in ensuring the stability of each cell's genetic material. When pathogenic variants are found in either of these genes, the protein product does not function correctly. This means the DNA damage is not repaired properly. As a result, cells are more likely to develop additional genetic, genetic mutations that can lead to cancer. Among females in the general population, the lifetime risk for breast cancer is about 12% or one in eight. But among women with pathogenic variants in the BRCA genes, the risk for breast cancer can go up to 82%, almost seven times higher risk. The risk is also increased for other types of cancer, like ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, and prostate cancer. If you know that you are at an increased risk, there are multiple screening and prevention options that can significantly reduce your risk. Everyone has heard about the preven preventative surgery Angelina Jolie went through, but there are multiple other options. These options include self-breast exams, clinical breast exams, mammograms, breast MRIs, chemo preventions, and more. Now that you understand how your DNA can lead to both genealogy discoveries and health insights, let's look at the new and expanded DNA product line MyHeritage offers. On the left, you'll see our basic and popular DNA test, which we will now call MyHeritage DNA Ancestry Only Test. This test includes the DNA features you're probably already familiar with, our ethnicity estimate and DNA matches. On the right, you'll see our new DNA test, the MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry Test. It also includes the same DNA features, but on top, it also includes genetic risk reports and carrier status reports. The Ancestry Only Kit currently sells for 79 bucks, and the Health Plus Ancestry Kit is usually priced at $199, but we have a special sale right now, and until the end of the month, we offer it for a discounted price of $149. Okay, and what about those of you who already purchased the MyHeritage Ancestry Only Kit, and I want to add the health reports, we have good news for you. You don't need to be tested again. You can upgrade your existing kit, and in most cases, you will receive your health reports in just a few days. The health upgrade is usually priced at $120, but is also on a special sale right now for only $60. You can also upgrade MyHeritage kits for family members if you manage those kits. That is, if you use your account for activating these, these kits. To upgrade DNA kits you manage, you go to the Manage DNA Kits under the DNA menu, and you'll now see a new Upgrade to Health option. If you previously uploaded you raw DNA data to MyHeritage from another service, this data cannot be used to generate your health reports. This is because DNA was not, your DNA was not processed using our customized chip. To receive your health reports, you will need to purchase the MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry Kit. Okay, you saw in the product comparison, the 
MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry product includes two kinds of reports, the genetic risk reports and the carrier status reports. The genetic risk reports explain people's genetic risk for developing specific conditions. Most medical conditions are caused by a combination of non-genetic factors, like lifestyle and environment, and genetic factors, which are determined by your DNA. The impact your genetics has on your health is called genetic risk. The genetic risk reports tell you your risk level for developing each condition. There are seven possible risk categories. You can have an average risk, which is what most people have for most conditions, or you can have increased or sometimes even decreased genetic risk for developing certain health conditions. These result reports are helpful because knowing your risk level can help you and your healthcare provider make informed decisions about managing your health and your lifestyle. We will touch more on this later. The genetic risk reports include two types of conditions, monogenic conditions and polygenic conditions. And I'll explain the differences between them in the next slides. So let's start with the monogenic conditions. Monogenic conditions are genetic conditions that are associated with changes in one gene or a couple of genes and are therefore called mono, which is one, and genic, which is gene. MyHeritage currently offers reports for 11 monogenic conditions, which includes reports like hereditary, hereditary BRCA cancers, which we already talked about, late onset Alzheimer disease, Parkinson's disease, thrombophilia, and so on. You can find the full list on our website. As you can see, for each condition, we test select variants in one gene or in a couple of genes. These variants are well known to confer increased risk for developing these conditions. Moving on to our polygenic conditions. These reports are one of the most innovative and exciting aspects of our test. As you can probably guess, polygenic means many genes. Polygenic conditions are diseases that are associated with multiple small changes in many areas of our genome. Each, each variant on its own doesn't have much impact, but when combined together, the additive effect of all these variants can increase the risk for developing the condition. Most common conditions those that affect the largest number of people worldwide, like heart disease and type 2 diabetes, are influenced by hundreds or even thousands of genetic variants, in addition to lifestyle and environmental factors. The polygenic conditions we currently include in our test are heart disease, which is the leading cause of death worldwide, responsible for one in every four deaths. Type 2 diabetes, a common condition that is predicted to affect 40% of Americans within their lifetime, and female breast cancer, which we provide if no pathogenic BRCA variant was found. MyHeritage is currently the only consumer brand that provides the, health, the heart disease and the female breast cancer polygenic risk reports. The polygenic risk reports are only available to people who are of mainly European ethnicity. This is because the data used to generate these reports is based on studies of European populations. We already began conducting research that will allow us to expand these reports to a broader range of ethnicities in the future. So we talked about the genetic risk reports, which explain your genetic risk for developing specific conditions. The other type of health reports is called carrier status reports. The carrier status reports are for conditions you won't develop yourself, 
but your children may develop if both you and your partners are carriers of the same condition. Many people are carriers of a genetic conditions and don't know that they are carriers because carriers are usually healthy and do not experience any symptoms. Carrier screening is important for everyone, including healthy adults, and has long been an established part of preconception and prenatal care. This is also useful at an older age because the children of a carrier parent may also be carriers, which would then be helpful to know before they begin their own family planning. The current test includes 13 of the most common carrier conditions, such as cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs disease, Gaucher disease, sickle cell anemia, and more. Now that we talked about all these conditions and reports that the MyHeritage test includes, let's step back and ask a very fundamental question. Do we really want to know? Some people prefer not to know their genetic risk for certain conditions, and we respect that. Eventually, it's a personal choice. The thought process of most of these people is, if I'm gonna develop a, se a severe disease at an older age, and I can't do anything about it, why do I need to know and worry about this now? This is the reason that by default, we do not show genetic risk for late onset Alzheimer's disease and late onset Parkinson's disease, which are currently considered incurable. Users can opt in if they wish to include their results for these conditions in the health reports. So the choice to access these results is yours. However, most of the conditions have a genetic component and a lifestyle component and are actionable. And knowing your genetic risks gives you better control over your health. It may allow you and your healthcare provider to make informed decisions about your lifestyle and in some cases can reduce your risk to develop a condition. It allows you to be proactive about your health. Understanding that you have a genetic predisposition for cancer, for example, allows you and your healthcare provider to create a personalized screening and prevention plan. This is important because detecting current cancer at an early stage significantly improves the outcome. For example, when colorectal cancer is discovered at an advanced stage, the survival rates are only 13%. But when discovered at an early stage, the survival rates are up to 90%. Similarly for heart disease, Studies show that even people with high genetic risk for heart disease could lower the risk by 46% if they lead a favorable lifestyle. If you think about it, even if you have so-called bad genes passed on to you, you can beat the odds of having the disease by leading a healthy lifestyle, if you just know. These are just a couple of examples, but the same thing is true for most of the conditions Included in, the, included in the MyHeritage test. So what are the specific benefits of the MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry test? With 27 personalized and easy to understand health reports, it covers one of the most extensive ranges of conditions offered by, by home DNA test. MyHeritage is also the only consumer DNA testing company currently offering polygenic risk reports for multiple conditions. The MyHeritage Health Plus Ancestry test is the only major consumer health test that is available internationally and not only in English, but in a large number of additional languages. In terms of privacy, MyHeritage has never sold user data and pledge to never do so without the user's explicit informed consent. MyHeritage is likewise pledged to never share user data with insurance companies under any circumstances. In the United States, 
we work with an independent network of physicians called PWN Health, which supervises this new service and provides clinical oversight. When a report indicates an increased risk for a specific condition, the physician determines whether genetic counseling is advised, in which case it is included at no additional cost. While we truly believe in the benefits of our test, it is equally important to understand its limitations. This test is not predictive. Sorry, this test is predictive. It's not diagnostic. It will not tell you anything about your current health. If you're concerned that you may be experiencing symptoms of a condition, you should go to your doctor and not use this test as a substitute. Your genetic risk is an important aspect of your is an important aspect you and your healthcare provider should consider when managing your health. However, it should not be mistaken for your overall risk. Your overall risk is influenced by your genetics, but also by many other factors, just such as your age, lifestyle, environment, etc. Your genetic risk should not be used independently for making medical decisions. Our test analyzes the most common and best research variants associated with the genetic conditions we support, but it does not cover all of the variants associated with any particular condition. So the absence of the variants tested does not rule out the presence of other genetic variants that may be related to the disease. And last, because this test does not analyze all variants for a condition, having a strong personal or family health history of some of the conditions may warrant more thorough testing. In such cases, a condition may be excluded from the user's report. In addition, as I mentioned before, the three initial polygenic risk reports are based on studies of European populations. So they are only available for people who are of European ancestry. It is very important for us that the users understand this, these limitations and we repeat them in our educational content and in the reports. Okay, eventually people at high risk for a genetic condition should take a clinical test specifically targeting that condition. Now that we covered the basics, let's go into the specific of our product in more detail. In the next few minutes, I'll talk to you about the methodology and technology behind our test. I'll show you where you can find more information about it. We will touch on purchasing the health test, the health subscription, and the activation process. Then I will show you the structure of a few samples reports and we'll add with the security and privacy of your data. Okay, so let's start with the methodology and technology. This test is based on a new DNA chip, Illumina's Global Screening Array, or GSA in short, which has been then custom designed by MyHeritage. In the design of this new DNA chip, we balance the needs of genetic genealogy with this of the health product. So we can introduce new health reports and in parallel, continue to, live, to, del to deliver excellent DNA matches for genetic genealogy as well as ethnicity estimates. To almost completely prevent the chance of reporting false positives for conditions with significantly increased genetic risks, such as cancers, we double check all pathogenic findings with Sanger sequencing. This method is the gold standard in molecular testing. So if we report a pathogenic BRCA variant, for example, it is only after we validated it with Sanger and are positive that the user has this variant. This new product is based on robust scientific research conducted by the MyHeritage science team, 
as well as many peer-reviewed academic papers, which are referenced in the reports. As I mentioned before, this product has been in development for two years, so you can imagine the amount of research that went into the health reports. Finally, the polygenic risk reports were validated and calibrated using the millions of data points we have thanks to the information users provided to us in our surveys. After this webinar, if you want to learn more about the test, you can find all the information about it on our website in the URL myheritage.com slash health. It explains all about the, the types of reports, the conditions included, the genes and variants we analyze, how the test works, sample reports, etc. Now let's talk about our new health subscription. When you purchase a MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry test or a health upgrade, you will see an option to add the health subscription. This, options is, this option is not checked by default. So if you are interested, you need to select it. I already told you about the 27 reports included in the test, but we are planning to add more reports in the future. This is where the, the health subscriptions come handy. If you choose to add it, you will get unlimited access to all new genetic risk reports and carrier status reports as we release them. The subscription also gives you access to all the advanced DNA features MyHeritage has, including the chromosome browser, autoclusters, theory of family relativity, and more. The subscription is currently offered for free for 12 months, so you can give it a try. Afterwards, it will cost $99 annually. And of course, you can cancel at any time. And we already started working on the next batch of polygenic, monogenic, and carrier status reports planned for later this year. So if you purchase and add a subscription now, you will get all these results, these reports also as part of your subscription. Once you receive your kit, or after you purchase your upgrade, you will need to complete a questionnaire about your personal and family health history. In the United States, we work with an independent network of physicians called PWN Health, which supervises this new service and provides clinical oversight. Therefore, an independent physician will review each health questionnaire, approve the processing of the test, and evaluate all health reports before they are released. When a report indicates an increased risk for a specific condition, the physician will further determine whether genetic counseling is advised. If genetic counseling is recommended, a phone or video consultation with a genetic counselor from PWN Health is included at no additional cost. If you have a strong personal or family history for a certain condition that may warrant more thorough testing, that condition may be excluded from your reports. When the reports are available, you'll be notified by email. Processing time for the test may vary. If you buy a new MyHeritage DNA Health Plus Ancestry Kit, the results will be available three to four weeks after your sample arrives at the lab. This is similar to our regular DNA kit. If you upgrade from an existing MyHeritage DNA kit to health, the processing time depends on which chip was used to generate your DNA results. If you purchased a MyHeritage DNA kit recently and received your DNA results in April 2019 or later, your DNA sample was processed on a new GSA chip. In that case, if you upgrade your kit, you will get your health reports in just a few days. If you purchased a MyHeritage DNA kit a while ago and received your DNA results before April 2019, your DNA sample was processed on our older Omni chip. 
you can still upgrade your kit without needing to test again and without needing to send us another DNA sample, but it will take um, us about three to four weeks to fetch your backup DNA sample and process, process it again in the lab with the new GSA chip. And remember that I told you how we validate pathogenic findings for conditions with significantly increased risk with Sanger sequencing? If Sanger validation is required, you would be notified by email and your results would take another three weeks or so. In any case, once your results are ready, you'll receive an email with link to view your results on a website. When accessing the reports for the first time, you'll be presented with a short introduction, helping you to better understand the reports and their limitations. It will remind you the basic terms and explain what are the possible results and what their meaning is. The first reports you will see are the genetic risk reports. And you can see here their main page. In this page, you will see all your results grouped by risk level from increased risks to decreased risk. The polygenic reports will have a special indication. In the event that one of the reports could not be provided, you will see that report listed at the bottom of the page with an explanation for the reason it is not provided. You can click on each condition to drill down into it and see more details. So this is an example of a polygenic risk report. This is what you see if you click on the heart disease report or the type two diabetes report, for example. We spent a lot of time thinking how to make your genetic result accessible and easy to understand while also providing all the necessary details about the condition and about your results. So at the top of the page, you'll see a summary of your result with a prominent risk bar that shows very clearly the risk category of your genetic result for this condition. As I told you, it is important for us to, that you remember the limitations of this test. So in each report, right below your result, you will see disclaimers that remind you what the report does not include and what the, te the, te the test does not cover. It is important to remember that if you are at an increased risk, it does not mean that you will definitely develop the condition. It does mean that you have a higher disposition or chance to develop the condition. But whether you develop it or not depends on additional non-genetic factors. We explain all of this and show you your lifetime risk as compared to the general population lifetime risk in the first tab. At the bottom of this tab, we suggest some things you can do next, now that you have your result. Each report includes four tabs, about your risk, which is the first tab and the tab that currently shows on the screen, other risk factors, about the condition, and report details. If we navigate to the second tab, you will see all the other risk factors that may affect your risk for developing the condition. Remember, the test can only provide you your genetic risk, but your overall risk also depends on your environment and lifestyle. So these other factors specific to each condition are explained here in this tab. It is important to take all these factors into consideration when managing your health, because sometimes the non-genetic factors can have an even higher impact than the genetic effectors. You will see all the scientific literature references at the bottom of each tab. Moving on to the third tab, which explains in detail about the condition. It includes a more in-depth description of the condition and explains the symptoms, how prevalent the condition is, 
the genetic factors that affect the risk, and again, the relevant lifestyle considerations. And then the fourth tab includes all the technical information about the report. For polygenic risk reports, it explains the process of calculating the polygenic risk score. For monogenic condition, it shows you the result of each of the variants tested. The tab also includes a section about the methodology of the test and the recommended considerations. If we move on to a monogenic risk report, you can see that the structure of the report is very similar to the polygenic one. Again, at the top of the page, you'll see your risk results with a prominent risk bar that shows your risk category for this condition. Below it, you will see again the report's disclaimers. And then the report has the same four tabs to provide information about your risk, about other risk factors, more about the condition, and the report details. Again, at the bottom of the first tab, we suggest some things you can do next. Moving on to the carrier status reports. These reports are provided in a separate set of screens within the health reports and also have their separate short introduction. This is the main page of the carrier status reports and it shows you results for the conditions included. Your result will be one of two. You're likely to be a carrier for a condition, which means that we found a pathogenic variant associated with this condition, or you're not likely to be a carrier for that condition. In this example, we see a report of a person with a, with a pathogenic variant, which means that this user is a carrier. This report shows the variant found and explains about the risk of the user to pass on this variant to his or her children if their partner is also a carrier. The other tabs, similarly to the genetic risk reports, include more information about the condition and the report details. If we move on to an example of a condition for which the user is not a carrier, you can see that the structure of the report is similar, but the result at the top of the page indicates that no pathogenic variants were found for this condition, and therefore the user is not likely to be a carrier. I hope that you have a pretty good feel now of how the report uh, the reports look. Before we end, I'd like to speak about the privacy and security aspects of this test. We made tremendous efforts during the de development of this product to make it super secure and private. Because we know that there's nothing more private than your health information. Your data is yours. You are the sole owner of your data and not my heritage. You can delete your data per permanently at any time. And to date, my heritage has never sold or licensed personal data and pledges never to do so in the future without the user's explicit informed consent. We also have a strict policy that prohibits the use of our DNA services by law enforcement agencies. Finally, MyHeritage is the only consumer DNA company that has pledged to never sell data to insurance companies. Other than the user who takes the health test, no other users can ever view the health reports, including a person who buys a health test as a gift for someone else. This is unlike the ethnicity estimate and DNA matches for which the kit manager can view the DNA results of the person tested. In the United States, the Physician Network PWN Health has access to a summarized version of the health reports in order to provide clinical oversight. 
MyHeritage Healthy Ports have been designed with enhanced layers of security and multiple levels of encryption. Every report is encrypted with a unique password that only the users know. Even MyHeritage employees cannot access users' health reports. The only exception is, in the, is upon an explicit request from a user for customer support purposes. In this case, a designated MyHeritage employee can regenerate a health report which both the designated employee and the customer can see for a limited period. By this, I conclude my uh, presentation and hand it back to you, Jeff. Well, Ofer, uh, wonderful. Uh, you said something earlier that, that I wrote down, uh, which I just loved. You said that my heritage is expanding our mission from changing lives to saving lives. And uh, yeah, I, I get that. Uh, I think this is a very, very important uh, class that you've uh, provided here today. And um, gosh, I, 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 think, I think everyone needs to, to watch this. Uh, I'm just feeling so strongly about this uh, this new Ancestry Plus Health test, uh, extremely important. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to do some uh, a couple of real quick announcements and some door prizes, and then we will uh, switch back uh, and, and uh, do questions. And there are some really uh, good and important questions in here. Uh, our, uh, do do uh, check out, now this is today, but uh, do check out uh, FamilyTreeWebinars.com um, for upcoming MyHeritage webinars. Uh, you know what's interesting is, I'm going to drag this over here. If we go up to upcoming webinars and go down to view by language, um, if you know of anyone uh, using these other languages, uh, we're starting to add these uh, for every single month. Check this out for uh, for the French language. Uh, we're really, really expanding uh, what's being taught here at uh, Family Tree Webinars and My Heritage, and it's really exciting to be a part of. Uh, so do uh, keep up to date and just just sign up for those webinars that you want to be a part of, and and uh, we'll let you know, we'll send you a reminder email when uh, when it's time. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a couple of door prizes here. Our first one will do a one-year MyHeritage Complete Plan. This includes the MyHeritage Plus Family Site subscription, plus the data subscription, which gives you access to almost 10 billion historical records. And so uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, turn on your your ability to raise your virtual hand and if this is something that you're interested in look for it's a little tiny hand icon in uh, in your webinar control panel uh, just give that a click and that will uh, alert me to your interest in these door prizes um, and I I see that gosh I see that you're finding it very well uh, our first winner here today is Tom Mates, Tom or uh, Mattis, Tom. Congratulations and thanks for being here today. Uh, we're now going to go to a MyHeritage DNA test kit. This is the Ancestry, uh, the DNA Ancestry version of the of the kit. Uh, go ahead and uh, and let's do the same thing. If this is of interest to you, then then click on that hand raising button. And as I see these hands uh, go shooting up, uh, I've got our winner, uh, our next winner here today is Leilani Lucrecia. So uh, Leilani, congratulations. Uh, just watch for an email from us uh, coming soon and um, we'll arrange the fulfillment of these prizes.